Hey dudes, how you doing? Um, so, I had the joy last weekend of uh, heading out to All Points East Presents The National. So it was like a uh, mini festival, really, day's festival out in uh, northwest London. It was a pretty cool day, some good bands all in. Um, the two headliners uh, was The National and War on Drugs would be the two big takeaway bands. Um, I have to put a special uh, mention for Warping. I thought they were superb as well. Um, but I came away and, and I was with two guys that were massive fans of War on Drugs. And I'll be honest, I'm a bit of a... Yeah, yeah, it's alright. Um, and it was really interesting because the, the kind of division between the two of us, or the three of us rather, but the two groups, and I think I was probably an, uh, the only person in the field that thought this, so I'm almost certainly wrong. But I just came came away feeling it was a bit meh, really. Um, you know, it, it's Brian Adams covering Bruce Springsteen B-sides, kind of. Um, you could see that he was got, he got so excited when he dives into the, the solos. But then the solos, I think this was it. For me, the, the solos weren't worthy enough of being... Like such a guitar heavy solo fo focused band like we're dropping into solo every tune we got you know, long solos and I don't know I, I, I just kind of felt like if you had maybe J Masters from Dinosaur Jr rinsing it then you can kind of justify it but there's always kind of he's a nice guitarist he's a nice guitarist I'm not going to say he's, he's not a good guitarist and in fact he came on and guested on the um, National uh, set towards the end and he he played without the shackles and he's a bloody good guitarist um, I just felt it was a bit too constrained it sounded too much like the album and, and I just wanted him to break free of his chains I liked the album I liked the set it was alright um, I just it was a bit meh couldn't meh and I, I felt I was the only person in the field that felt it so I say I'm probably wrong but you know yeah, if I was to score that part of the, the festival like you know out of 10, I'd be like, yeah, six, six and a half, push you, seven, maybe. It wasn't awful. Um, the one thing that I, I really took away, and this this came to the fore then when the National were on stage, who were amazing. Um, you know, absolutely incredible. A band I've always wanted to see. Um, got every album, I've adored them for a long time. Funny enough, somebody said to me, the National, and I, I, I kind of agree with this 100%. The National, one of those bands that you never kind of, just get into by hearing it on the radio. It's always somebody that says, hey man, you got to listen to this, you're going to love it. Everybody I know that likes The National was introduced to The National by somebody who's equally uh, as fervent about how wonderful they are as, as, as us. Um, so yeah, they were superb. And, and what was the one thing that instantly leapt out is, A, the drumming, um, you know, it, it just drives the music forwards. But, and, and again, the war on drugs, you know, again, competent drummer, but it was very, monotonous I guess whereas there was layers upon layers upon layers of music at the National you know you just felt the music taking you somewhere you just felt like it was gonna go somewhere and I just felt that every song that um, War on Drugs did I just I just wanted them to break out and to go somewhere else and I was like no it's not it's gonna be like war because wall of Symphony feedback into a nice pretty melody, which is relatively well. I oh, know he's got a good voice, he's got a better voice than me, you know, can't, can't argue. And then a solo that seems to go on forever, which was just was just kind of playing around the same kind of themes. Some of it's nice, but it was. <sighs> Do you ever get that with music? Do you ever get like you see a band just go, I get it, I can see why people like it, it's just there was something missing. Anyway, that was my thoughts on it. I say the National were incredible. Incredible. Um, I know that they went straight across to Dublin after, um, so they may still be doing a European tour. So, folks, if they're on tour, go and see them. Um, and yeah, I never thought of them as a, a festival band, but they rocked it, mate. Absolutely rocked it. Um, yeah, from start to end. Oh, and the ending was beautiful. They did Cry Baby Cry, and he didn't sing a word. Uh, just one acoustic guitar, um, nothing else and just let the crowd sing it wow that is a pretty damn cool way to do it if ever i get to play a festival which uh based on this 
aging face is probably never going to happen now. Um, but if I ever did in an alternate reality, uh, it, that would be a nice way to end my set by getting the crowd to sing one of my songs. Maybe, maybe in a, a different world, an alternate reality. Hey, you never know if uh, the Mandela effect's still real and those crazy bastards at CERN keep uh, smashing up particles and, and making the realities bleed together. I might wake up as a rock star one day. And anyway, that's it. Rambling, a little bit of a review of War on Drugs. Like I say, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for people going, no, they were amazing. I'm sure they were for lots of people. I just, for me, I just felt. Mm. I feel as you, maybe you've seen my other review of, of uh, Paul Draper gig. A very different gig, of course. But I came away from that just like walking on air. Whereas I came around and I was going, eh. Yeah. And like I say, it's, it's, it wasn't bad, it was just, yeah. Anyway, peace out, dudes. See you later.